Sup, ball, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on how many games NBA players wear the same pair of shoes for and if switching shoes can prevent injuries. I've recently been studying up a lot on different basketball shoes from different brands and the various technologies that they include. And my knowledge has grown exponentially since I started, so expect a detailed video today. And remember, if you want more videos like this on all things NBA, then hit that thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comments down below because this video should relate to you. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so I'll start with a little backstory. Before I knew anything about wearing the proper shoes for outdoor basketball, I played outside on a concrete court with beat up Under Armour running shoes for about a year. Now, during the stretch of time, I experienced bad back pain for about three weeks that rendered me unable to jump and run, and my feet would constantly feel sore after playing. Why? Well, according to an article by American Academy of Podiatric Sports Medicine, or AAPSM, Michael Lowe, DPM, team podiatrist of the Utah Jazz said, bad shoes can lead not only to foot and ankle problems, but leg, hip, and even back pain as well. That's because alignment begins with your feet and moves up to influence the rest of your body. In time, the stress to a certain soft tissue or bone structure will create a fatigue injury, which then renders the player unable to participate in his or her sport. Well, shoot, that's exactly what happened to me, and I don't want it to happen to you. I realize that we all aren't going to play indoors all the time, so I made sure to buy performance basketball shoes for outdoors because my injury could have been prevented. Combine the hard concrete ground that it was constantly landing on and my beat up shoes with minimal cushion for shock absorption it's no wonder why i got injured so don't play basketball indoor or outdoor in running shoes vans or anything else besides basketball shoes now that is not merely the solution alone for preventing injuries and for those of you who do play frequently i have to break the news to you not only does wearing the right pair of basketball shoes prevent injury but also occasionally replacing them does as well dr Lowe presented a study which showed that the average high school basketball player will utilize only one pair of new basketball shoes per season dr Lowe recommends that the basketball shoe be changed monthly during the season this has been found to greatly decrease the rate of injury to professional players to the point that they will often replace shoe gear every two to three days or games. Now, depending on how often you play, a monthly replacement may be necessary if you have the money. Now, at the end of that excerpt, it mentioned that pro players generally tend to replace their shoes every two to three days or games. There really is no set number of days or games that players wear the same pair of shoes for. It varies from player to player. On soulcollector.com, there is an entire article with quotes from players on how many games they play in the same pair of shoes. Isaiah Thomas said that he plays two to three games, four at most in the same pair due to ripping on the sides. But if you think about all the cuts and lateral moves that IT makes, this is understandable. Rodney Stuckey plays in his sneakers for about 10 games because they get too loose and stretchy. According to the article on AAPSM, as the shoe is worn over hours of use, the leather uppers slowly begin to stretch to rotational forces applied. As these external changes to the shoe continue, the rotational movement of the foot within the shoe slowly increases in range of motion. Therefore, it can be seen that with newer shoe usage, there will be fewer inversion injuries as compared to injuries due to the lack of support from worn and stretched shoe gear materials which lack the integrity to decelerate foot rotational movement beyond normal positioning. So basically what that's saying is the upper material of a shoe will stretch due to continuous use which creates less lockdown for the foot inside of the shoe. If the foot slides too much within the shoe the player is at risk of an inversion injury which is an ankle sprain where the outer or lateral ligaments are stretched too much. This is a big reason why NBA players change their shoes off Often. Clay Thompson said he changes his shoes every 12 games due to wear, and Anderson Verjao is kind of out there with his response being pretty much, I keep wearing them as long as they don't break. CJ Miles mentioned that he hates the brand new and stiff feel, and with this being said, LeBron James wore a brand new pair of LeBron 12s nearly every game of the 2013-14 season according to CBS. So there you go, the NBA players have the luxury of changing their shoes out frequently, some do more than not, but why wouldn't they? I hope I was able to communicate some tips to you, the viewer, today about replacing your shoes and wearing the proper shoes. Now, my channel isn't a shoe review one, but if I did have to recommend certain shoes based on their technologies, the Crazy Explosive Harden Volume 1 and Volume 1 Lifestyle from Adidas feature full-length boost technology in the midsole, which is great for impact protection and shock absorption. If you're looking for responsiveness, I'd point you in the direction of Nike Zoom, which includes the Kobe line, PG, KD, and LeBron to name a few signatures. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What's your favorite battle? basketball shoe and why. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!